Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the Realnext webinar series. I'm Jeff Finn, CEO of Realnext, and joined by Matthew Smith, the head of Western Region Sales and Solutions for Realnext. Um, today, the Realnext webinar series is focusing on virtual tours and online tenant representation. There are a number of I'll call, call them hidden jewels within Realnext that not everyone takes advantage of. I want to share them with you and give you sort of a big picture overview of the, the platform and how it focuses on and can help uh, tenant representation and uh, the, the virtual touring capability, uh, some of the, the research and foundation that it has, as well as the ability to uh, provide online uh, collaboration with your clients. So. The Realnext Navigator Pro is a complete commercial real estate operating system with an incredible CRM to uh, manage your database and business development, deal management, uh, prospecting, marketing. Uh, the Transaction Manager, which we're going to focus a lot on today, is your tenant rep tour book app with uh, the ability to create tour books virtually, uh, have a mobile app to share with your clients, as well as a web portal for them, and to begin the evaluation of spaces, rating of spaces, and negotiation of uh, lease terms and then when it's time to shortlist and evaluate our real next market edge provides a comprehensive lease comparison capability and uh, within our marketplace if you don't have the access to the, uh, the all the property information that you need and you're, you're out searching in the market you can find opportunities for your clients there. One of the, the great new things that we've added recently is RX data so that you can seed your, your CRM and the entire Real Next Navigator platform with all of the land and building information in your market, as well as transaction history, loans, and tenant profiles. So you can start building stacking plans and also corporate portfolios based on the, the data that would, would um, flow in and through your, your system. Matt's going to take you into a deep dive into the various applications and how they play within this concept and, and uh, application of virtual touring and online tenant representation. But as a foundation, we're going to focus in the CRM of how do you track client portfolios and, and enable you, whether you're looking at uh, a single market or in a corporate services context, how do you, you manage uh, and, and track leases, lease, lease expirations, and where do you prospect and hunt? Uh, the marketplace to create uh, safe searches and, and watch lists for your properties and really start the long list of, of how you might be uh, showing and, and wanting to find properties for your, your clients. And then the deep dive into Transaction Manager, the real meat of this uh, session, which will focus on the, the tour book and the, the tour book mobile app, and then Market Edge for the comparative, comparative analysis. And uh, to wrap up, we'll show how whether the space exists or needs to be reimagined. Um, we can use our video maker to tour existing spaces and share that for clients, uh, particularly remote clients, to see those easily and efficiently. And if the space needs is being built or to be built or needs to be redemised or, uh, or reconcepted, uh, reconceived, that you can uh, take advantage of Realnext VR to allow your clients to better visualize the space and how it might work for them. So, Matt, I'm going to turn it over to you and let you take over and take a dive into these different applications within Realnext and how our users can help their clients be more efficient in virtually touring and uh, representing them in their new space requirements. Thanks, Jeff, for the introduction. Uh, so everybody remember you are in listen only mode, but please through out the presentation, ask questions. If there's something you want to see, uh, you want to go over, you want us to slow down a little bit because uh, they do have a tendency to go a little fast. Uh, feel free to just uh, reach out through the questions or the chat and we're happy to help you in any way. This is all about you, uh, not about us, but there's a lot of things that we're really excited about. And one of those was the Navigator Pro uh, is bringing the data I just wanted to show you a quick sample of some of the information that can be brought in. I brought in the Las Vegas market, and then I created a nice little polygon. And what it allows me to do is, whether I want to go block by block, zip code by zip code, or city by city, it really allows me to know and own my market. And I think it's really important as a tenant rep uh, to really know the buildings that you're representing uh, clients to find space in. So if you've never been to the building, you should. I had a great call with a client this morning 
out of Irvine. And uh, during our phone call, he said he was out there door knocking with Real Next. And it's great to see that uh, you can add the building inventory from the field. So if you have the property information inside of our program from Navigator Pro, you can enhance that data by walking the building, tying into solutions like CamCard to fulfill that building stack. And then you know and own the market. Also, when it comes to managing uh, your tenant assignments, you can do that through our projects area. And then to manage the companies that are leasing those spaces, uh, one of the great advancements in the Real Next program is to be able to keep track of that property information uh, from whether it's corporate services for a nationwide tenant or it's a localized tenant uh, that you can organize all that information. So you'll see here I pulled up a company record. In this company record, we can keep uh, information on uh, investment criteria or lease criteria. We can also keep track of multiple locations. So if they have multiple locations throughout the United States, you can see somebody at this record who is Jack Finn. Uh, he is at the uh, Nevada office. We can also see them at the subsidiary. And for me, I like to categorize my subsidiary as my state. Uh, that's just a way to tie everything through so you have a complete organization. And we can see that Pat Sajak is at the other Nevada office. So they're both at different offices in Nevada. And then if we wanted to see every uh, person in that company, we can see that. And you can see a nice little checkbox here. And these checkboxes are showing me who the primary contact is. So Tim is the primary contact in California and Pat Sajak is the primary contact in Nevada. So it's a great way for me to know who the primary contact is at these companies uh, as they're making the decisions for leasing the space. I can also see any properties they own across the whole footprint. So if I want to see their footprint of properties, and then I can narrow down those to what locations on what properties. And then same thing for the spaces. I can see that from an organizational level, from a subsidiary level, and from a record level. And I think that's really important, especially if you're trying to prospect with these companies. Uh, maybe you see some uh, issues with the spaces they currently occupy, and you might be able to put them into a better space uh, that's a fantastic way to do it. Also, uh, one of the things that's really important is to be able to create uh, these lists of properties that your clients might be looking for. So if I'm talking to someone over at Chicago Title, uh, Pat Sajak and uh, Jack Finn, and they gave me some requirements, you can utilize the uh, Real Next Marketplace. And I have that tab pulled up here to save a little bit of time. And I pulled up some area and they're looking for some office space in Florida. Now, during our initial search, what we're doing is we're gonna create some criteria of what kind of office. They said, well, look, we're looking for office. Uh, we want that office space gonna be in Florida. Maybe they have a city in Florida. Maybe it's gonna be Clearwater. Uh, you just type in the word Clearwater down in the city section, and then I can hit apply, and it's gonna narrow down my criteria. And the idea is that we're gonna be able to pull out properties that are meeting the criteria uh, for what they're looking for for office space. Now, one way to deliver those properties for our clients to look at before they go ahead and we start creating that tour to start seeing and fine tuning what that is, is basically our long list. As I go and I click these search properties here, I can do two things. One is I like to create a saved search. Now, you can put in here a uh, price per square foot per month or per year. You can put in the space size, building size, and so many other details in here to get it really narrowed down. For demonstration and time purposes, I'm not going to. You can create a safe search, and that's gonna notify you of a new availability. So even though we're working with uh, Jack, Finn, and Tim to find space for them, we also wanna be notified if there's a new available property that comes up. So I can just type in here, Jack, Finn, Tim, office, 2,000 to 5,000 feet, notify me when new listings match the search criteria and notify me when things update. Uh, maybe there is a rate decrease. Uh, maybe a property comes back on market or maybe a new listing matches that criteria, I can hit save. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna email a digest to you for all those availabilities as they come to market. And then you can add them to what we call a watch list. And a watch list is a fantastic way uh, to be able to start creating that long list. Now, what is a watch list? A watch list are properties that we're looking for for uh, Jack and Tim. In this case, I'm gonna select a couple properties. I'm gonna select a property here. 
I'm going to select a property here and here. Now I can just simply check those boxes. And as soon as I do, it says add to watch list. How convenient. And I have lots of watch lists. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to put in here Jack Finn and Tim. And we're going to go ahead and hit create. Now what it did is it created that watch list for me. So if I go down here, it's going to say Jack Finn and Tim. You'll see that right here. And it says zero properties. And then I'm going to go down to add to watch list. Now what that has done is it added those three properties to a watch list. Now that's gonna be for my own digestion, right? So that's gonna be for me to be able to see that. However, we wanna be able to send these properties to Jack and Tim. So I can select these properties right here by checking the boxes, or I can say, select all. Now I can say email selected, and now I can just put in the information for uh, Jack. And in this case, we're just going to tie in like M. Smith. If you're using the real next CRM, I hope you are. It's fully integrated into it and it's going to automatically pull up Antonio Macromedia. If you ever wondered how to spell his last name, that's a great way. You can say, Jack, here are a few properties that meet your specs. Perfect. These. Now I'm going to go ahead and send that and it's gonna get sent out, and now I have a watch list that's gonna be provided to my contacts. You can also drag and drop any one of properties in here to make your watch list real easy. Uh, you don't always have to just check the box. You can just drag them right into there, and it will continue to add to your watch list. So as you add more and more properties to your watch list. Now, you can use watch lists for many things, but it's a great way to create your long list, utilizing the real next marketplace, safe searches, and watch lists. Now, what do we do when we start narrowing down the criteria? And Jack says, hey, here, I'd like to go and tour these 12 buildings, 15 buildings, 20 buildings, three buildings. What would that be and how do we create that tour? Well, one of the ways we want to show you we're going to focus mainly on today is going to be inside of our, uh, our tour book and deal management solution. Now, you might notice that mine looks different than yours if you do have real next. Mine says your company up here and my colors are gray. Well, and mine are blue, Matt. And how come my company logo is not up there. What I want to do is I want to show you that you can have your logo and you can have your main primary color in here. And what's nice about that is we're going to show you a couple ways to create a tour. One way to create a tour is going to be creating the tour through a mobile app where your client can download the app on an iPad or Android. You can use it on a phone. I'll show you how it looks on a phone here in a few minutes. And it's a great way. But other people might want to just go through a web browser so they can have access to the tour in a web browser and they would see your logo information. Um, so it's a great way, again, to have this branded for you. If you're part of a large organization, we want this to have your company logo and your colors on there. We want that information and you want to be proud of your company. So it's a great motivator to see that, hey, this is my company here and here are my colors. Now I have a couple tours created in here and you can see uh, I have deal names from Bowie Incorporated to Demo 20,000 square feet uh, to Bonnie Savills, uh, Macaulay Constructors, or Major Account. Now, you can create a deal name in any way you want. The tenant would be the person you're representing. The contact would be your primary contact uh, that you have, uh, that you're working with. Uh, however, we're going to show you how you can add as many contacts as you need to to this tour. So if you're touring with three folks, add three. If you're touring with six folks, add six. Uh, I also recommend one of the things that I saw from a team that was phenomenal was they actually went out and bought some iPads and they simply hand the iPads to their clients and say, hey, we're gonna go tour the properties. If someone can't make the tour, they can still interact with these tours and I'll show you how that works. I wanna show you the end before I show you the beginning and start from that because I do think it's important to be transparent and show you how these are created. Uh, as I was sitting in an office uh, for a large major firm, there were about 10,000 brokers, and I said, how often do you change the lease rates when you create a tour for the brokers? And the marketing uh, person was like, all the time. And I said, how cool would it be if it was digitized and it would update automatically? And I thought she was going to fall out of her chair. So this is one of the tours that we've created. Uh, you can move any of the properties around. It's completely dynamic. You can color code the properties uh, for different color ratings based upon uh, where they fall on your shortlist or where they fall in your rating category. You're going to be able to get ratings for each one of these properties. 
So you're going to be able to take photos in the field. These are live photos in the field. You can take them from the mobile app. You can add any building documentation. So if you created uh, any of the uh, flyers or, or collateral uh, for the space that's on there, if there is collateral flyers and you want to add them on there from an outside landlord broker, any tour notes that you think that are important to your client, or maybe your clients or client is adding those tour notes, it's interactive. So we find out what they're thinking, and then we can start helping them shortlist that property up to 20 five to 35% quicker, maybe even more, maybe 50% quicker. You're also gonna be able to create a rating system based upon eight attributes that's gonna to pertain to their asset base. So location, accessibility, security, uh, maybe it's gonna be clear height and power if you're doing industrial. Those are things that are gonna be important to your client, not necessarily important to you, and things that you might not think about. You can also, Customize so population, household income, and traffic. That doesn't have to be for each tour. You can customize what that information looks like on a tour. You also have the ability to keep track of all your proposals for your owner response and tenant response to see and hear how you're able to work with that owner of the building and negotiate the lease for your client's best interest. Now, I'm going to pull this information up so you can see the end before you see the beginning, and that is this tour book. And you're gonna see it on my uh, mobile app here in just one second, as soon as I get this tied up. So what I'm gonna show you is actually what that looks like. So we have the same tour here, except for one is on my app. One is through the web browser. Now I can select in here and I can see the building picture. I can see photos. I can see any tour notes on there and I can add my notes. So when I'm sitting watching Suits tonight, on Netflix, I can add some additional things that I liked or didn't like on the building or saying, hey, I this parking wasn't great or the common areas isn't so awesome. Um, I can see any floor plans and I can take photos in the field live. And that's one of the really neat things is you have the ability to uh, also take live photos in the field. Uh, so it allows you to do that. And then you can rate those spaces on there. Now, I'm trying to show you from Zoom through Ring Central, so it's going to be a little bit slower, um, but that's a great way to be able to uh, see that. You can also uh, download a tour book and a tour report. So let's take a look at what the tour book and tour report is, because I hear this all the time. Well, hey, Matt, my client's not technologically savvy. My father's 71 years old, and he can text, and he's not tech savvy. So I would say that most people know how to use an app, but if for some reason they don't, you haven't bought them an iPad and you're not willing to lend them yours, you can always go back to the paper tours and it creates this for you automatically. Uh, in here, you can have your colors associated with your company, uh, your logo and whose it's going to be prepared by. It's going to create the table of contents for you automatically. It's going to map those properties. It's also going to show you the property locations and show you the rating scores. So this is going to help you shortlist. It's going to show your monthly rate. It's going to show your annual rate, rent per square footage, any additional notes. And then it's going to give you a highlight of each one of those spaces you're touring. It'll also pull in the uh, brochures you might have received from the landlord broker, floor plans, and so forth site plans, all this information is great. Now, what if I make a change in here? Well, it's gonna hit generate and download, generate, download, generate, download. And then what it's gonna do is it's going to uh, continue to update that. So you don't have to go in InDesign and PowerPoint and Word and Excel and all those other fancy programs to update those tours. It's so much easier for you. So how hard is it to create this tour, Matt? I'm not super, technologically savvy. I'll tell you, I break my computer about two or three times a month, maybe two or three times a week. I don't do it on purpose. I don't download anything, but it just happens. So I want to show you how easy it is to create a tour. You simply go ahead and click create tour. Uh, and here we're going to go ahead and type in a deal name. Deal name is going to be Jack Finn. Uh, client is going to be Jack and Tim. And then in here, we're going to say, is this going to be a new lease, a new a renewal, or is it an expansion? Are we looking about expanding out because uh, we have 5,000 square feet and we want to add another 2,500 square feet uh, because we have contiguous space and we want to take advantage of it? Or 
check this out for the sales team. Is it a purchase? Because you can use this for sales too. That's so awesome. Yes. Next time you do a property tour, use our tour book for your sales deal. It's two in one. It's a twofer. Everybody loves a twofer. Now, down in your types, it's going to give you shopping center, office, retail, industrial, vacant land. But if you switch it over to purchase, it'll give you a lot more, right? Pretty cool. I was talking to a, a great lady out of uh, Colorado today about ag, and I absolutely love ag. I think it's just one of the coolest um, asset classes out there. So if you do agriculture, call me and I'll geek out with you on the phone. I think it's so awesome. Now we're going to select our range. We'll say 2,500 to 5,000 square feet. And that matches what we created in our watch list. Now, why we're sleeping, uh, Realnex is searching for properties that are available and they're going to ping you and throw them right in your inbox for you. Now we can go ahead and select buildings. Now we put hundreds of thousands of buildings or lots of buildings. I don't know the exact number in here for you. And as you type that information, you'll start seeing some of these buildings pop up. So you might actually have the building in here already, just like I did here. Now we can go here and we can add different people in here. So we'll see if Jeff's in here. Perfect. We'll add Jeff to it. And we can add as many people to the tour as we want. And they have free access. So you don't have to pay for each person that's going to access the tour. And then you can put a primary color and secondary color. And we hit save. And that's that easy. It's that simple. And if you're not sure how to do it, come back and look at it. So now we can see our status is preliminary, okay? Because we haven't had any properties besides one added to it, or we have a few on our, on our long list. Um, and then we can keep all the notes inside of our real next projects area. We can keep those notes tied to the companies and the contacts we're speaking with, Jack and Tim. We can track all the emails back and forth that are sent and received, including any LOIs that we send out on the spaces that we're looking to lease. All that information is housed in your real next program. So you don't have to go to Excel and Gmail and PowerPoint, and all those other ones. Now, brought in the picture for me too. Pretty cool. Now I wanted to show you how easy it is to change any of these. So if we want to change preliminary and we want to change this down to touring, real simple. If we want to change your build and we want to change that to something else, all we need to do is just type in here what we want, and then we can change anything else. Same thing with location and access. Jack, what's important to you and your employees in this new office building? Is it location? Is it parking? Uh, is it the commute time? Maybe it's going to be the suite layout because that's going to be important for productivity. Uh, we noticed that if you have a window in your office, you're 25% more productive than if you didn't have a window. Uh, these things here, and then each person can rate them. Now, we get a, a group score, and we get a my score. So we might have somebody on there like, like Dave Orwick that says, hey, I don't like this property, because maybe because it was blue, and Dave doesn't like blue. But uh, Demetrius says, hey, I love this property. This is fantastic. So Dave puts it as a three. Uh, Demetrius puts it at a, at a eight. Well, we can have a discussion about that and uh, you know work through some of those details. And then we can look at each person's ratings. So, um, you know, here in our current space, the parking is not so good. So I'd mark that as like a one, but everything else is pretty good. Our rent's good, right? So here we can put that information. We can start attaching proposals. To attach proposals, it's real simple. You just fill in the blanks and save your proposals and it will show, uh, you know, again, originator, owner, or tenant. So owner and tenant. Is it a full service? Is it modified gross? Is it triple net? Pretty easy. This is an easy way you can create a tour. Now, if anybody wants to be added to my tour, you know, simply just put in your question in there, say, hey, add my email to a tour and I'll add you to one of my tours and you can take a look at it. You can download the mobile app and you can interact with us. Rate the spaces, add some tour notes, say, hey, Matt, um, great presentation. This was cool. This is interactive. Another thing you can do is you can use our real campaigns program. Uh, to email all your clients and let them know, hey, I'm going to be creating tours in a digital format. Is that something you're interested in? If not, we can create a, a tour in a um, in a, another way. You also have something that's really powerful in here, and that is you have the ability to compare these properties in a very simple comparative analysis. So maybe you're not an analyst. Maybe you're not a numbers person. You're not James Frader. 
But here's a great way we can see these properties in here. So we see these properties and it's gonna go ahead and give us that information on each one of these properties. We can always export it to Excel. So we can start comparing and contrasting. We also can compare the proposals. So this is a nice way that we can compare the proposals side by side. So we can see what our rent is for 2023. We can see what our rent is for 2024 and so forth and on and on and on. We can also see how much free rent we have. Now maybe free rent's in the first month of every month of the year, or maybe it's in the whole beginning. So if you talk to someone in Texas, they're saying, well, you get four months free rent, you get that all up front. Um, in other areas, you get that, like in California, you're gonna get it first month this year, first month next year, first month next year. You know, um, as you go ahead and you work those leases back and forth, um, you'll see how that impacts everything. Here's our, how much for TIs, your tenant improvements? What are your escalations? It's a great way, again, to shortlist. And we can even graph those. So if you like to see graphs and stuff, there's some fancy graphs for you. Um, awesome, awesome way to be able to have that information in there. Now, one of the things you can do too, is if you really wanted to fine tune this, uh, as you create your tour report and your tour books, if you want to create them. And here's a nice little tour report that shows the scores. And then again, it's just going to take the information that's out of there, floor plans and so forth, site plans, pictures, and uh, put together a whole tour report for you. But now we can jump into our comparative lease analysis and we can really dive in. And our lease analysis here is going to be a lot more in depth than what that one is and a lot more customization when it comes to, you know, free rent, TIs, um, escalations, expenditures, uh, commissions, and so forth. But it's going to give you a beautiful summary. You have an actual and a variance. So you can see both of them there. And then it puts it out into a, a beautiful presentation. So as you get your long list, you start to shortlist it with your tour book. You compare those three properties and you say, hey, these are, these are the three I think that we're going to look at. We want to maybe start submitting LOIs out on. Uh, now we can create, take those three properties, put them in here and compare them side by side, but we can also put together a beautiful uh, package that you can give to your client then. This can be done in a PDF, you can email it or you can do a digital publication. Uh, digital publications are pretty popular right now because you don't have to download anything. Uh, when you do a digital publication, uh, digital publications or just a simple click. Well, let me show you the individual report. So you have a summary. Each, each property is going to have a summary. So as I scroll down here, it's going to be each property. Okay, so each property. Now remember, this is going to be your logo. It's not going to be ours. It's going to be your logo that's on there. We're not branding this as us. We want it to be all you. You might have seen quite a few of these. Lately, I've talked to a lot of clients that are like, man, I've seen your stuff before. And they can tell by some of the awesome formatting. And look, I've looked at Excel spreadsheets on leases and napkins and stuff, this is a lot easier for me to make a decision. Lease schedule. So what does the lease schedule look like? Well, here's a great lease schedule for you. Uh, now we have monthly accounting summary, overview comparison. So now we can go ahead and we compare those leases side by side. We even give you a system called Guide Me that can walk you through some of this with lease tool setup, lease tool help. Uh, and we're here to walk you through as well as additional videos inside of this. Uh, so there's your DCF timing, beginning of the month, discount rate, annual period, rent totals, and other information. Now here's our charts that will come in here, and the charts get created for you automatically. Great, so it allows you to uh, analyze up to five spaces, but you might have shortlisted it already. This also works for the owner side, so um, if you're on both sides of the deal, just change around for the owner side, and you can see how that impacts as well, and see how um, it goes with everything. Now, there's a couple other ways to digest some of this information. So we've talked about the properties, the companies, long list, short list, safe search, watch lists. We also can make sure that people can see this in, in multiple ways. As we're looking at an asset, we even can virtualize these assets. So if someone is there or can't be there, or maybe it's a space that isn't actually created yet, uh, we can create those spaces. So here is a uh, vacant office building that we'd like to make into a medical clinic. 
Now, if we want to change this into something else, we can change this into something else. You'll see down at the bottom, it says A, B, and C. And what that's going to do is allows us to change from a medical to a technology to whatever that would be. And then we can even show what it would look like if you moved in the building. So if we wanted to come in here and look at the floor plan, now we can see what the floor plan would look like to see if this is the right building for us. We can walk in the building. We even have another program uh, that can do your test fits for you. So this is our PIX VR, and this can virtualize the space. And then we have another program that can do the test fits for you as well. But this is a fantastic way. Um, you can also use these rentings for any, any marketing. If you're on the landlord side, you can use it for marketing. Uh, it's full free flowing. So we do have some pre-programmed flows here, as well as a whole flow that goes through it, um, which is now doing it by itself. And it's going to stop at certain points like five, six, seven, eight, but it's free flowing. So if you take that off and you just want to look, you can move around any way you want. It's not based upon pinpoints and stuff. There's a lot of other cool things we can do with this. It also becomes an asset for the building owner, uh, which is fantastic. So if you change it from a medical to a technology, uh, back to a medical, uh, you can always have us update the logos for a small cost uh, for whoever owns that. Another fantastic tool that we have here at RealNext as well is our video maker series. This has been phenomenal. And what it allows you to do is walk through buildings. So if someone's not able to tour the building with us and we found one that we want to shortlist, um, we got three of them. We want to put together a video tour for our tenants. Uh, maybe they're out of the country or in another country. Maybe they're in a different location. But we really want to lease 9196 West Emerald Street to Jack and Jeff. Um, but Tim can't Hello. make it. I'm Guy Livingston and welcome to Pinnacle Square. 33,000 square foot single story. Now, we give you a template for this in Storyvine. So, if you're not a technologist, you're not good at your phone, uh, we give you an app that allows you to pick your color at the bottom. You can add your own text and it gives you prompts. So, it's not something that you have to learn how to do or program. It's going to tell you, hey, here are the three areas you can put information in A, B, and C. Here's the description. You fill in the blank. You can't get any easier than that. Also, you see in the upper right-hand corner, um, it has a logo. Now, we recommend, uh, unlike Guy here, if you are a little bit shaky, there's these gyroscopes you can get on Amazon for like 80 bucks. Grab one because uh, this video is a little shaky here, but you can get one. Uh, you'll see a lot of different examples. But one of the things that I love about this space and one of the reasons why I would want to lease the space personally is this right here. I know this is not something that everybody's excited about, but we have an outdoor bathroom uh, in our office here in San Diego. Basically means we walk outside of our office to the bathroom and uh, I would love to have an indoor bathroom. It's not an outhouse for you folks that are saying it's an outhouse, it's not, but uh, it's an outdoor bathroom. Hopefully you found this session really beneficial to you to show you how to utilize the tools in a real world example. And I've seen examples of shortlisting up to 75% quicker using our tool. We'll say it's 25 to 35% quicker, uh, but imagine what you can do with that. Take your commission, divide that out, and that's how much more. I mean, can you all use a 25% raise? Let's give you 25% more time uh, so you can go back and do it. And there, again, there's great tools in here that you'll find with inside of the Real Next program. So you can see their current location, where they're at, to have an understanding of what their current building looks like. And, Maybe there's certain attributes that you like around here. And hey, just like your current building, uh, these three buildings that we picked on your list, uh, you know, look similar to that. And uh, you could notate those those there. Jeff, how are we doing on time? We're good, Matt. And uh, yeah, actually, I, the reports were from some of the the um, call it the either the admin, the junior, or the the marketing team. They're saving 50 to 75 percent of the time oh, to create four bucks. And it's just it's just phenomenal in how quickly not only do you, you can create that, but also adjust it, as you say, because once it's created, it's always changing. And to be able to dynamically change it, it's really powerful. A bunch of questions. Please uh, keep chiming in with your, your questions. We'll, we'll, we've got some time to answer them. In the beginning, there were, were questions about uh, getting the, the data. So 
we, uh, you know, we've got populated data from the marketplace. So we've taken the Real Next marketplace, which is real-time information from you, uh, our Real Next community that that are bringing properties in and information in, and then we have our RX data, which is all of the information in the country from the assessor's office uh, as consolidated by First American. So we've gotten all the information from First American. They've done the consolidation from the assessor, so it gives the foundation level of, of building information. But if you have CoStar data, if you have Reonomy data, if you have other third-party data, we have a great import engine so that you can take the, the RX data, you can take your data, consolidate it, and, and present it. And we can get all of your, you know, whether it's your proprietary information or the third party information and get it into Real Next and get it into the, the tour book or into your, your CRM for prospecting business development and then for your your uh, your tour management. And you can so, see here I can go zip code by zip code. And as I have a, another video called Door Knocking the Easy Way, uh, what we would do is we might want to take a zip code and just start prospecting that zip code. And then you can add the rent roll and update the photo like this rent roll right here uh, we have. And this was brought in from our data source. So this is live data that we brought in from our data source here from RX data. And we have the three tenants in there. Uh, they might not currently be in there. They might be in there, but we, uh, we really start building that footprint. And then we don't have a photo here, but when we're out in the field, we can hit edit, take a photo or multiple photos, take photos inside of the suites themselves, and even take a picture of the directory uh, if you're in an office building or signage out there for retail or anything else. You can do it from your phone or, or tablet. Uh, we are working on another. There's a question about integration between this, the CRM and the transaction manager. That's not complete yet. That is in the the roadmap. But the the tenant uh, tenants in your projects tab will as leads um, do not flow into the tour book. The, the tour book data is we we've we've brought information into tour book from our various. Uh, other databases so it seeds that but it's not dynamically linked to your database currently so in the future that will be but it's very easy to uh, input that information to, to put your buildings in and to put your spaces in and, and floor plans into the the tour book so that you can take it from there in the future that will be more of a, a seamless process and that's why i was so transparent about building a tour book in front of everybody today because if i can do it in a few minutes you can do it in a few minutes probably better than I can because uh, if you ever seen one of my emails you know I don't type too well so the watch list is a dynamic watch list it's going to show up uh, branded and it uh, Matt I don't know you sent one to yourself you want to show what that looks like it, yeah it, it's a uh, it what we've done is it's it's all you it's it uh strips out the other brokers the listing agents so that the client will come back to you and it's basically a little web portal that we that you have created for your client so here's the 10 properties that match your criteria um, it's in a booklet for them and it's delivered into their inbox and then they have a link so whenever they go to that watch list they'll see the latest information on those properties so it's not alerting to them to updates to each listing but every time they go back to those listings they would see the updated information if there's a if you create a saved search for your client then that gives them a daily or, or weekly update for any changes uh, or additions that match the criteria yeah let me pull up my email sorry guys i had to load my email i try to keep it shut off during presentation so it doesn't take up my my resources. But here's properties of interest. Uh, Matthew Smith sent you a link. Note from Matthew Smith, see you soon. I uh, came into my inbox with the title, Jack, here are some properties for you. And then this would be your logo or your company, not ours, and it would not say your company here. It would also have your address and your information, uh, your beautiful picture, license number and so forth. And you can see this in a list. You can also see this on a map. So we can see those properties and then you can drag that in. So it becomes an interactive uh, map here as well. And then it says Jack and Tim. So it's personalized for them. And uh, looks like we're gonna be moving into that vacant space right there. Actually looks like a really nice space. Get some nice signage out there. This is Jack and Tim's yogurt shop. And um, 
right next to Yo Wash laundromat. So you're waiting for your laundry and you get some yogurt over at Jack and Tim's laundry or uh, yogurt spot. That's perfect. Um, but yeah, that's what it would look like. So. So well, all of the, everything that we showed today in, in Real Next Navigator is a part of, if you have a Real Next Navigator subscription, you get the CRM, Transaction Manager, the two mobile apps, the uh, sort of the enterprise, the Navigator mobile app for the cloud uh, version of, of CRM, and then all, all of your contacts, properties, comps, all deal information, as well as deal rooms and, and marketplace searches is in that app. And then the tour book app, the Transaction Manager app is the one to collaborate with your clients so your clients can download and, and access that as well. Market Edge and Marketplace are all part of Navigator. The uh, If you don't have, nav if, you, if you have Navigator, great. If you want the data, you upgrade to Navigator Pro. And then the Navigator Pro gives you some additional information. Not only do you receive the comprehensive data in your market, uh, so and you can choose that by property type, by MSA, or whatever geography you want, but it also maps out your database in a, in a way that optimizes for industry best practices and predictive analytics. So we've taken like the, the comp information, for example, and so because we know all of the transactions that have happened, the buys and sells in your market, we know you're going to be able to profile buyers and sellers better than ever. So it's going to show exactly what certain people buy and exactly what, what certain people have sold. So you know who's buying and who's selling what. And when you, if you've got a new warehouse or dist distribution center, you're going to know anyone who's bought anything like that in, in the market and be able to go right to them. So highly effective in targeting and prospecting. We have loan maturities and loan information for the, well, wherever those are, are registered. And uh, it's about 30% of the assets have the loan profiles. And so it gives indications of uh, because we have the date and the rate, you're going to know if something's coming up for renewal what's a likely either refinance or sale and if if uh, you use the, the navigator pro we're also able to profile um, hold periods for buyer certain asset types and certain ownership types to know when they would likely sell based on a, a typical hold period and a host of other uh, best practices and templates and um, enabling you to focus in and hunt just for the most likely prospects and, and sort of the harvest in the ripest field. So, you know, here are the 10% the, the of all of these different properties that are most likely to trade next year and, and why you should be uh, focusing on those today versus others that are, you know, they're sitting on the shelf for a few years. And if anybody wanted to know, because uh, the questions come up, how would I access Pro? Uh, if you have the uh, navigator, you can just slide right over hit rx date in the upper right hand corner uh, it'll say log out here it means you're logged in you can choose your property types it talks about pricing and how the pricing works your base msa is 600 a year uh, for uh, the single user if you have the navigator you can put in here square footage acreage or other option details select your msa or counties in there like san diego los angeles and so forth where i'm at uh, or any of these other ones that you want. And then you say confirm selection and it will run the machine for you. If you need help going through to have your RX data engine, you can just reach out to any one of us here at Realnex and we'll be able to assist you. You have a uh, person in each region, the East, Central and West to guide you through that. And that also comes with our uh, data import tool as well. So when you do upgrade to the Navigator Pro, it comes with the data import tool. So it looks like some of those questions are, are hopefully answer those questions for you. Yeah, with the data import tool, you know, if you get, you have CoStar and, and or Reanimate and you want to update information every month, it's all included. So if you have a Real Next Navigator Pro subscription, just we have automated updates for uh, automated upload capability for your, your files that you get from those third parties and you have a sort of unlimited uh, use of that. Uh, whereas typically it would cost $100 per type of import, we would uh, we include that with your Realnex Pro and RX Data subscription. George, it's calling your name. I'll give you a call after this. I heard some good things about you today. And uh, yeah, there's some people wanting to schedule time with us matt can you show them how to schedule an appointment or to get on your calendar or their reps calendar yeah um let's go
go to realnext.com, uh, anywhere on Realnext, you're going to see a section that says learn, learn more in there, just fill in the information. Uh, that'll go to the appropriate rep. Uh, if you're in the West Coast, you're going to come to me. If you're in Central, you're going to go to Kevin. And if you're in the East, you're going to go to Jen. So you be in good hands no matter where you're at. Uh, add any additional messaging. Say, hey, I saw this on the uh, Matt and Jeff webinar. Uh, it was fantastic. Uh, we loved it. Can't wait to get signed up or get more information. Uh, we'd love to hear that feedback. Um, we told one of our coworkers this week that, uh, you know, we never hear all the feedback. Uh, so it's sometimes nice to hear feedback. So just if you uh, if you uh, loved it, let us know uh, because we want to put these on for you. And if you have any ideas, let us know for the future on how we can streamline your processes and make your business easier and more efficient because we want you hanging out with, with us, saving time, making money. Yeah, so there's the last question that's coming in before we wrap up. The, the um, If you have spaces in the CRM, can you add those to the tour or do you need to add the buildings from from the, the building? So again, we, we don't have that final uh, piece of integration built yet. It's coming, but uh, currently uh, you would need to uh, put input. The, the building is likely already in the transaction manager the spaces may or may not be depending on whether the landlord or the landlord's agents have put them in. If they've put them in, great. If not, you can add them and then they would show up in the, the tour. Now, there is one thing that I did not show that is really cool. Um, it, and, I'll, and I'll try to log in here while we have the last questions coming in. Uh, one of the things you can do, and, and when I open up all the programs, it makes my system slow down. That's why I shut that down, uh, Outlook and so forth. Uh, but one of the things you can do is you can send your available spaces to the lease analysis. Uh, you also can bring in any properties you saw on your shortlist, and you can add them back to your CRM. So which ones you know? Yeah, it might look like my internet's dying here. So if you want to learn more on that, how to add properties from Marketplace back to the CRM, uh, we'll show you how to do that. Uh, we can also show you how to take spaces and push them to Market Edge lease analysis. And uh, as Jeff mentioned, adding them in the tour book side, it only takes a minute. It's, it's not a tremendous amount of time. I think that is it for questions and that's it for answers then. So thank you all. Thanks, Matt, for taking us on the tour. Thanks everyone for joining us today. We'll be, uh, reaching out with future sessions and other bites of great enhancements and tools and capabilities of Realnext for your implementation. So if you have ideas for future sessions, let us know. And uh, we hope you have a great rest of the day. Thanks everybody, have a great day.